his, uh, is it four minutes? Four minutes of questions. Thank you, Madam Chair. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. The President and your agency have expressed concerns with the middlemen in the drug supply chain, pharmacy benefit managers, PBMs. Over time, PBMs have morphed into under-regulated entities with opportunities to exploit their position in the middle of the drug transactions in the U.S. For example, according to a new report from XIL Consulting, which is run by former Express Scripts executive, PBMs benefit from an obscure fee known as direct and indirect remuneration, DIR. I know you're familiar with that. At a rate exceeding 500 percent per prescription as compared to the average administration fee. Last year, the administration proposed a rule to address these DIR fees, but later withdrew it. Do you still have plans to implement accountability measures for PBMs? And so, if so, what does that regulation look like? So I, I remain very concerned about the DIR fees and their impact, especially on America's community pharmacists as well as independent specialty pharmacies. Uh, so the reason that we did not finalize that rule, and we were very transparent at the time, was the concern that by rem if we forced the DIR fees to basically go through to the benefit of the patient, that that could cause an increase. The middlemen would jack up the Part D premiums for our seniors, and that was the concern, and the President just has been adamant that he does not want to run the risk of Part D premiums going up. Uh, we, so it, is, it remains a priority for the administration to deal with this issue. Um, if we ever could legislatively, that would be, that would be useful also. Um, well, and as you know, I would love to have a legislative solution, but we thought this might be a good test case uh, to do it uh, with that. Maybe even through, if we could get bipartisan, bicameral drug pricing legislation, that might be a vehicle to have that in there. It might be, and uh, let me ask you this. Uh, there's been some mention earlier today of H.R. 3. Uh, I raised the concern, and then later it was raised uh, by the Congressional Research Service, that the bill as written is just blatantly unconstitutional. Have your lawyers advised you that that's the case in their opinion as well? Uh, I, I've, I've not had anyone study the constitutionality issues on H.R. 3 about the, uh, the penalty amounts and whether that would work. I, so I haven't seen the an, any analytics on that. Well, any time they want a discussion on it, I'm more than happy to facilitate one. Um, it, would, let's it, talk about opioids because yeah. I only have a little bit sure. of time left. Uh, over the past few years, there's been a lot of talk about how they're prescribed in America and how pain is medically managed in general. And I will tell you that uh, I thought we were on the track of getting our healthcare professionals to, to back off of giving out so many uh, opioids uh, for pain. But I have uh, a friend who is currently uh, undergoing some procedures, and we were talking yesterday about how they had given her uh, opioids, how she took it uh, in the initial day uh, after uh, some painful procedures, but that after that she turned it away, but, but they, you know, she's got it sitting in her house. What? Uh, what has this administration and HHS done to reduce the overprescribing of opioids? Uh, so we've, we've actually, through the CDC, put out guidance to professionals on appropriate prescribing. We continue to work on even further titrated by different, by different pain areas on what the best guidance is to do that. Uh, it's distressing to hear that. We've seen, though, an over 25 percent, I believe, decrease, maybe 30 percent decrease in the opioid prescribing of legal opioids to date since the president took office. So we're making progress, but of course, there, it's disturbing to hear any pockets like that. Well, and, and look, it's going to take time, but we can't, just because we've started to solve the problem, we cannot uh, think it's solved and we cannot take our foot off the gas pedal in trying to make sure that we don't overprescribe and then with that we, we deal with this issue. It's very serious in my district and many others. So I thank you very much, and I yield back. Gentleman yields back.